You know when you finally start lusting over something that the internet throws your way and you give it one little click and then it follows you through the rest of the internet like the T-1000 and Terminator and there's no getting away from that. Well, I started lusting after it and fantasizing a, a great life with this thing and just doing it every morning and everything was gonna be great, right? Right? <laughs> Owning this thing has turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. I mean, I drink coffee every morning, so like I'm pretty much a professional, right? Very nice and smooth. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? It is. Are you sure about I'm... it? It's a really good machine and it does its job very well, I can tell, but I am the one, I am the weak link here, it turns out. I know nothing about producing a great espresso shot. Espresso making kicked my ass. Basically, what I learned is that your cup or your little espresso shot has to be absolutely perfect. When I would watch YouTube and watch coffee people like James Hoffman talk about over and under extraction and temperature being just right, I thought they were really just being picky and an espresso shot was just an espresso shot. Well, it, it turns out once you get it in person and you start tasting it, if it's anything other than perfectly done, you can taste how horrible it is. It, it gets really bad. My first shot was horrendously sour and hateful. So that's when I realized I was gonna have to start getting better at doing variables. For example, what I learned is you have to pretty much use the same coffee over and over because every coffee grinds differently and brews differently. So you just wanna stick with one coffee, which is kind of boring because with drip coffee, you can generally change your coffee quite often and it doesn't significantly alter the flavor. I mean, you can dial it in, but it's gonna taste pretty good most of the time, no matter what. The other thing I learned is that you need a scale. You need a scale to measure the coffee to, and to make sure that you're getting enough coffee out of the actual shot itself. Otherwise, you have nothing to measure anything off of and you'll be completely inconsistent. And consistency is key. It's kind of like a science and an art. The other thing is that making espresso can be super messy and you're gonna want a lot of towels. Just, yeah, it's, it's kind of a dirty process and you're gonna make a mess until you really figure out what you're doing with it. I spent the entirety of yesterday dialing in my shots so that I would actually taste good. And I drank like eight espresso shots and I was wired the rest of the day. And it really wasn't like a positive experience. It was more of like an obsessive compulsive experience of just trying to get the perfect espresso shot, which I think is what happens is when you buy these machines, you tend to start falling down a rabbit hole of obsession and perfection, which is, of course, never truly attainable. So I think I finally pretty much got it dialed in. It takes 20 to 30 seconds to pour because that's the biggest, most important part. And the key thing is you want it to spray for about 20 to 30 seconds. So I'll be kind of in the gray here. God damn it, that was like maybe just slightly time. overdone, but but I think it's the chasing of the dragon that people get into. So maybe that's like, what's going on here a little bit. So in conclusion, I will say that I learned basically that I don't know anything about espresso making and that I have to do a lot of work to start enjoying espresso at home. Overall, I'd say I'm kind of satisfied with the process, but it's just way more work than I thought it was gonna be. So if you're thinking about getting into espresso, hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I'll have a link to this machine below for my affiliate links. It just helps me afford to do this stuff and keep reviewing things that I find interesting. And subscribe if you'd like or leave a comment. I always like interacting with people and I think the comments on YouTube are probably one of the most important sections. That's where people go to get reflection and learn and be funny and just generally breathe life into videos. So thanks so much for watching. If you made it to the end, Gold, gold star, I don't know how to do a star with my hands. But yeah, so see you later. Bye. Dark America! That's such a tight fit. Ah.